Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lost Planeswalker, you're here with me, Jesse, the Lost Planeswalker, and today we're going to have a brief video covering the commander decks for Duskmorn and theorizing some of the deck themes along the way. I'd like to start out by breaking down what will be in these decks because it's a little different than normal. As the typical commander deck that have come out recently, we see 10 new cards, 1 commander, a co-commander, and 8 additional new cards in each deck. But this isn't all the new cards though. A special 10 card unique pack will be added into each deck, bringing back the return of Arch Enemy. If you've ever played Arch Enemy or want to see how these will be adapted for the commander format, you can check out my video on it. With that out of the way, let's start by looking at the first deck, Miracle Workers. Miracle Workers will be a white, blue, and black, so Esper deck, and the main two themes in this deck are See the Future and Cast Miracles. Now, if you're unaware, Miracles are cards that allow you to cast them for a reduced cost if it was the first card you drew that turn. They are often not played super heavily unless you're playing a deck that really revolves around stacking the top of your deck, and it looks like this one might be doing that. Being the only white deck in this list, we may get some more cards revolving around the glimmer creature type to this deck too these creatures are enchantment creatures that are coming back in duskmorn and while i'm not convinced this deck won't be full of those i would expect some at least the face commander from off the box here is Amanatu, who came to help the rescue party but the true reasons on why she's there is not really super clear Moving now onto the next deck, this character may be unknown to you. Death Toll is a black and green Golgari deck with Winter as the commander. Winter is the first character we meet who has also been trapped in the House of Duskmorn. With his knowledge of the house, they are able to traverse the house a little easier. The two main themes in this deck are Fill Your Graveyard and Reanimate Monsters. Well, this seems pretty standard for a Golgari deck, I think there may be a clue to the wording. It specifically says Reanimate Monsters, not Creatures, so this deck might have some synergy in getting non-human creatures back onto the battlefield. I think just from the looks of this deck, it definitely seems to be pretty straightforward play-wise, but we'll see how that comes out when the commanders are spoiled. Talking about running through a scary house, we have Jump Scare up next. Jump Scare is a green and blue Simic deck headed by none other than Zamone. Zamone was set into Duskmorn by Niv Mizzet using her intellect. They are trying to figure out what's happening in this house and how they might be able to escape what's inside. Jump Scare focuses in on two elements, tricky instants and mysterious face down cards. This is a deck that I feel most unsure in how it's going to function as this could end up going so many different ways. If you haven't been listening to the story, now is the perfect time and I'm doing a summary of the videos covering the story in just a few minutes instead of the half an hour plus it takes to go through it. Also at this time, I would just like to say if you please leave a like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Now let's move on to the last and probably most wanted deck, Endless Punishment. Endless Punishment is a black and red or Rakdos deck, but to me it seems pretty clear that even though we haven't seen an image of this character yet, Valgavoth, the linchpin demon of Duskmorn, and the one controlling the house will be the commander of this deck. Valgavoth feeds off of fear and terror, so it's very fitting in this deck that you'll punish your opponents and make them pay. These honestly are two things Rakdos has always been good at, so I'm interested to see how this will work into the commander. Maybe he'll have some ability that gains you benefit from people sacking their permanents or discarding cards, who knows? But only time will tell. The lore of Duskmorn is very deep and interesting so far. If you are interested in checking it out, please take a look at my videos where I cover the lore and geography of Duskmorn and what made it into the world it is today. So, thank you so much for watching! What commander decks are you most excited to see in this set? And Arch Enemy provides a really fun play experience that will surely get players to buy more than one deck. If you would please leave a like, share this video with a friend, and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now today's Scryfall card of the day is Aggressive Urge. The power of the wild concentrated into a single charge. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you later, Planeswalkers.